Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our playthrough for Final Fantasy VII Remake. And again, this game was donated to us by our friend Sid, who sometimes does pop in the chat and I think she might be popping in here soon too. But I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're going to pick back up. I'm going to check out the autosave because I activated an event and I'm hoping this autosave is before that event. So we're going to try it out. Uh, but yeah, we're supposed to go talk to Aerith. She's trying on her new outfit from Madam M. But uh, we did get interrupted by Johnny, who said he could bring us to get Tifa, and then he brought us to the front doors of Corneo's place and left us there. And I saved there, uh, but then I got stuck there. I couldn't leave. So I was like, okay, let's let's try the um, autosave and see if it managed to put us before making that decision. Uh, I could be wrong if it, if it does, and it puts us right at Corneo's. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, but uh, yeah, I... <laughs> I I'm, I'm, might want to run around town. Okay, good. So it put us right before activating the event, which is great. So I'm just going to go run around and do a couple things. I'll probably edit this stuff out, but I, just to get back in the swing of the controls and stuff. And uh, and then we'll come back and we'll, we'll uh, talk to Aerith, or, or try to, but then get interrupted by Johnny, and we'll continue on with the, the plot. All right, Jules, rematch time. <laughs> you up for some exercise? I don't know. You kicked my ass last time. <laughs> okay, hey, Cunning, what's up, dude? Thank you. Get ready to laugh, because I suck at this. One, two, three, four. 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 You are two. Bad, Show that city how it's done. I believe in you. Who'd have thought it'd be this close? How much training do you do? I can't get enough of those beautiful muscles. Oh, it's me in motion. I believe in you. Oh, man. Who's gonna win this? You are in the zone. How much training do you do? Who'd have thought it'd be this close? Oh shit, damn it! That was it! That that cost us the win. You are in the zone! Oh shit! That cost us the win actually. Damn it! Damn it, we tied. That cost us the win. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! We were so, if I die, I got to. Uh, I just kept getting freaked out because last time, remember? Uh, so she's not on, or Jules is not on, like a set uh, thing. Like she doesn't do the same thing every time. Because remember, her first time beating us, she hit like 42 or 43. I won't go easy on you. So, uh, yeah, back to the squat, do bro squats. That's right. All right. All right. We're nice and slow. Who'd have thought it'd be this close? You're prepared, Jules. Show that city how it's done. I believe in you. Woo! You are in the zone. Slow and steady. One, two, and three in motion. Two. How much training do you do? I believe in you. You are now. Damn it. Damn it. Who'd have thought it'd be this close? How much training do you do? 
You are in the zone. I believe in you. I can hear your muscles crying out in joy and pain. Than I thought. Oh, it's me in motion. So much training do you do? Yeah, cool. Show that fifty how it's done. Woo! You're better than I thought. You are slow and steady. One. So much training do you do? Two. You can do it. Damn it. I thought, oh, gosh, Jules got up to 44 that time. I thought, you know what, as long as I don't screw up Major, we'll stay ahead of Jules. But no, I guess the better we do, the better Jules does. Oh, wow, this sucks. My pride just won't let me give this up. I was going to do this offline, actually, in case I got upset with it. But we'll just play, we'll try it a couple more times, and if we don't make it, we'll we'll continue with the story. So much training do you do? Who'd have thought it'd be this close? You're better than I thought. Poetry in motion. So it looks like Jules always messes up there, and then maybe one other time. Damn it. Damn it. Please tell me Jules isn't going to catch up. <laughs> I think that would suck. Oh, good. Yes, we did it. Oh, I was like, once I messed up, I was like, that's it. Jules got this. Oh, we did it. So, good. Only three tries. Three more tries because we tried twice early, I think. Uh, so five tries total. <laughs> I had no idea how strong you really were. Guys, I feel like I worked out today. You know what? I'm going to go take a nap. You guys have a good one. <laughs> That's how out of shape I am. Just pressing the buttons was enough for me. <laughs> All right. No, I'm not up. I'm not up for any exercise. I just want to make sure I got my champion belt. Yeah. Sweet. And I did. Suck it, Trebek. All right. Life is good. Oops. Inventory. Where would a championship belt be? Because I'd like to wear it just to be an a-hole. I don't think I... Yeah, we got that, we got that. Okay. Oh yeah, let's uh spells. Wait. Um awesome. Well, hey, good. We started off with a a little finger workout, which uh, I'm actually broke a sweat over. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say that. Uh, all right. We're doing. We're going to switch to ascension because we learned a new limit break. You hear this song coming? Does it sound like Aladdin to you?
Ready? Ready? I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering splendor. I know that's the, the lyric I always sing, but that's because I, I think that's the only part of that song I actually remember. All right, let's check the map. Make sure we did all the good stuff. I think we're ready. All right. I think we're ready. Let's go, uh... Let's go get Tifa. We ran around this town long enough. I like this town. This town's a little bit more grid-shaped. It's funny, the town that's lawless is, uh, is the town that is easier to navigate. Um... I mean, like, Slum 7 isn't so bad. I think it was just because, uh... Like, by the end of it, we, we started to get the hang of it. What about Tifa? Um, I heard but this area, I feel like we learned pretty quickly. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Of course you don't. Well, You're do. an idiot. I'll come too. Hey, Cloud. Bro. I can call you bro, right? <laughs> Nope. Just want to say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. <laughs> this guy's a douchebag. So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said. D dude, don't call me bro. <laughs> Johnny's pretty good comic relief in this area. Because I, 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 it's like, I, it's weird. I'm missing, I kind of miss Wedge and Biggs and, and all of them. Um, and Jesse, I'm like... Well, and Barrett, I'm like, oh, I really miss those guys. We we haven't seen them in like six hours of gameplay. <laughs> um, hey, Seek, that video was amazing. Hey, thanks, man, and congratulations. So what I'll do is um, DM me your email, and I'll send it to uh, Mike over at Gray Matter Art, and he can get your address and everything and send you that print. Um, and then I also got to reach out to uh, the other guy who won too, under the capes. So, uh, yeah, I was going to DM you guys tonight after this gameplay, but if you, since you're here, go ahead and DM me uh, your email address, and I'll send, uh, and your the first and last name, uh, and that's all I need. I don't want your other personal information, and I'll send that to Mike if you're okay with that. He's he just he's going to have to get your address to send you the print. Cool. Good man. Good man. Congratulations on winning, man. Thanks for being the only person on Twitter that, you know, entered the contest. <laughs> like, that's why I was glad you won. I was like, because I... I pulled like three names from YouTube, two from Instagram, and one of the people from Instagram didn't technically follow the rules, but I was like, eh. I was like, I would hate to lose because I didn't follow the rules exactly. So I, I still included them. Um, but I put all your names, and I wrote them on sheet of paper, put it in, in my uh, helmet, and then I drew two names, and I got you, and I got that under the cape guy. So, um, so yeah, I was glad you won because I was like, he's the only person who entered on Twitter. <laughs> You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. This guy seems to have somewhat of a soul, but not a big enough one to like stand up to his uh, his boss, I guess. Um, so he's a little spineless in that regard. He's, so he's trying to tell you, like, hey, man, Bad things happen in here. Please don't come back. Um, but, I mean, of course we're going to look at the size of our sword. We're going to come back and shove it through somebody's stomach. Hey, get out of the way! Quit talking! Move it! Move it! <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. I need sexual healing. I mean, her hair looks the same. <laughs> I mean, not exactly the same. They dolled it up in the back, but look at Johnny here. What a prince. Who took that photo of her feet? Was that Joss Whedon? Hey, yeah. Hmm. That's really yeah. She cleans up nice. She's got certain tastes. This dress is so gaudy and impossible to move in. <laughs> yeah. Everyone said she looked homely. I mean, she's a pretty girl. Excuse me. 
She cleans up nice. She's not ugly. <laughs> hey, Sid sounds like everybody in town. The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried. You're awesome, Sid. <laughs> I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition? No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. It's true. I'm glad they're addressing that. I mean, these are lawless scumbags. Come on. You'll see. See what exactly? According to Adam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Huh? Oh! Oh! <laughs> this is it. All right, we made it. Uh, she is bringing us to the Honey Honeybee Inn, and we are gonna doll ourselves up, son. You got it. This is it, man. We got to be kidding me. We're gonna do this. Man in love. Woman in love. <laughs> Womanizer. Jeez. Oh, wow. Those those girls were haters. He ends Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in the dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh. Come on. Don't you want to save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? Uh, it sounds like we're gonna not get what we want, but let me try it. Just sent it? Okay, cool, man. I'll check it later. Thank you for doing that. Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've Mr. Cloud. To Mr. Strife. Delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. Okie dokie. Both of the prints look great. I know. I don't know what they're gonna pick randomly who, who gets which one, but um, <laughs> they uh, they are. They're both great. Um, they're they're awesome. And here's the man of the hour, chosen by Andrea himself, our honored guest. Uh. Is there anything oh, else in here dear. I can get? Do we have the wrong person? No, I just wanted to look around a little. Oh, oh geez. You don't even touch me, dude. Okay. So, we're, so this is the peeping Tom mission. <laughs> We look through all the doors before we go through the last one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> look at this creepy old man chasing this girl around in a. <laughs> he's got a net. What the f? All right, this is providing some level of amusement. Um. <laughs> oh. What's uh, happening in here? What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. What shape am I making? Definitely a peeping time mission. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh.
What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. Hang on, Lord. Hey, I'm gonna know. fight for you. Uh, Hang on, Lord. I'm there? gonna fight for you. Are we down for some Jesus Christ Superstar tonight? Echo, you wanna want me to open the thing? What's the answer? Alright, go ahead. That's up. Here. Echo. Wow, you got a good memory, dude. Uh oh, I totally missed what did she make? I totally missed. Yes, it is a circle. Aww, that's a wrong answer, it is? Man, uh, you know what? You're useless. I don't know. Oh, uh, I get you. You want? Yeah. Let's see. Square? Aw, that's a wrong Man. Yeah, I tried circle. She she didn't make oh, a circle. I yeah. Go. Yeah. It's not a triangle, is it? Uh, I mean it's not a cross. Ding 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 ding. That was a triangle. But, but why? <laughs> you still here? But why? I thought it was a circle too. It looked like a circle and maybe a square. It did not look like a triangle. Hey there, doll face. We've been waiting for you. That's a terrible You're triangle right? indeed. I'm guessing she's drunk too. <laughs> no, I'm not here for. Huh? Oh, wait a minute. I think you might have wandered into the wrong room. I think so too. Yeah. What would Damian Wayne call her? He'd call her a harlot. That's what he would say. Like, I am in the wrong room, you harlot. <laughs> what are you guys doing? There's like not even water in that thing. Alright, whatever. Let's uh proceed. You are Andrea's guest, aren't you? I sure am, sugar bee. This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you wanna practice your dance moves first? Nope. I know how to do the Macarena and the floss. Hey, hold on. Oh no. Is this gonna be like the workout routine? <laughs> Press the buttons in time to the music. Uh oh X. Oh wow. Oh it's like Dance Dance Revolution but with a controller. Okay. Right when the panel oh wow, okay. It's a timing thing too. Great. Here we go. Oh wait, what? Oh, it's circle. Damn. Oh, Jesus. Ha! <laughs> Wait, what is X? Oh. Damn. We're going to do this again. You know, it would be easier for me to remember the colors and not the buttons. Yeah, we gotta do this again. You got real rhythm, mister. Move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. Take it away. I'm competitive. I know the Pennywise dance. Oh, and the Spider-Man 3 dance. Uh, nice. God, you're a bad boy. <laughs> this is so great. <laughs> so no matter what, he still does the moves, but it's 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 what you get right that uh that they count at the end. Okay. Boom! 
10 out of 10, bruh. And we got a... We got a song. Nice. That's right. No more practice, man. I think I know what I'm doing. I play Dance Dance Revolution. I know what's up. That's not dancing. That's just swinging your sword around. Hey. How dare you, okay? It is, it is, the, it's, you know, there's the rumba, and then there's like uh, the cha cha and the floss. This is called the buster. So, suck it, Trebek. You just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Aw, he's flashing. Oh, Jesus. I don't remember ordering a. A gaggle of bees? What are they? What are bees called? A murder of bees? That's crows, I think. Good boy, Echo. Uh oh. We gonna get a copyright strike for this song? I think we might. <laughs> Good boy. Boy, eat that baby. Swarm! Ah, I'm so dumb. That's even the name of a Spider-Man villain that I'm a fan of. Uh, yeah, Swarm. I'm so stupid, Echo. You're a good boy, though. Go ahead, lay down, eat that baby. Good boy. We got you. Oh, what an entrance, Andrea. I saw this in the trailer. I was like, oh man, they're actually remaking this part of the game. That's great. I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. It's a great villain. I have a couple comics with him. Swarm? Yeah, he's awesome. I can't believe I forgot that word. What? <laughs> oh, here we go. Dance off. <laughs> People like Thinking us, we line. gotta stick together. All right, let's do it. Dang, I, I am not going to be able to... Wow, this is a lot. Dang it. I, it's, it's happening so fast, I can't like... Jeez. <laughs> Alright, we only missed one so far. That's okay. Damn it, missed two. I knew I was going to jink myself. Oh man. God, that's, yeah, that's not good for me. That's, uh, that's too much on the screen at once, too many lights. Oh god, okay. Trying to focus on just okay. I'm doing my best here, guys. <laughs> this is dang it. Yeah, the, it switched camera angles. That's how do you gonna do a jump cut in the middle of a, <laughs> a dance step? Damn it! I, I keep pressing the wrong button when it comes up to the X one. <laughs> Brb, no problem. He's literally made of bees, I know, I know. I'm gonna eat it. Is that Blue Monday? It sounded like Blue Monday. 
You spin me right cloud, baby, right cloud. <laughs> All right, we, that's fine. That's fine. We did all right. I'm not going to... I don't want to redo that. That really started to mess with my eyes there towards the, uh, towards the beginning especially. It calmed down a little bit in the middle, which was nice of the game to do that. Whew. Honey, I'm in love. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin. Wow, right here in front of everyone? Does this sound like Vogue by Madonna? Come on, Vogue, Vogue. Oh, sorry, I can't go ahead. Do your thing. Oh my goodness. Yas, Queen! <laughs> you got this, Cloud. You were born for this. She's way too into it. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> She's so into him. <laughs> Look at his muscular arms. It's great. You look great, Cloud. You look great. Actually, the little net uh, lace stuff on the arms is a good touch. He's so elegant. Oh, yeah, man. He is. He cleans up nice, huh? <laughs> Whoa. All right. He is an expression of the heart. People like shit. us, we the gotta stick to together. Don't ever be afraid. Look at that. Sorry, I gotta clap. That was that was fantastic. That was fantastic. That show today blew my mind. Hey, look at me. I can dance too. How much did you drink to go over here? Yeah. Oh. Was it planned from the start? No, that was a show. Did you see their look of surprise? Cloud? Yoo-hoo, Cloud, hello? What's going on? Here it's a cloud, come in! Such beauty is the spice of life. Wouldn't you agree? Here it's a cloud, come in! Please don't. Not a word. Not even one? Dude, you look great, man. But you're so pretty. <laughs> you know what? Do you think we can get through the stuff in the alleys better? Remember there was a couple things, um It don't even looks like a beehive, how crazy. Um Um, behind us. Nope, get out of my way. Where do I cut through at? I think it's, maybe it is up here. I was thinking, remember that all those guys were like D-bags to us. Um, so I thought maybe we could uh, actually get get by in the alleys now and get those secret things, now that we're a pretty lady. Will this not? Mm. Or maybe we can't crawl through the... Uh, side by side with another beautiful flower. You're 
the one from the show. I've never felt so ready to take on the world. <laughs> Middle manager of the month, here I come. Good for you, dude. Okay, so it's disabled us from going through the alleys. Okay, because I was going to say, no, we should be able to walk through those two. Uh, but that's fine. A toast to the lovely ladies of this town. All right. Let's, uh... Oh, well, yeah, wrong way. <laughs> Man, yeah. Now we get to see how, how creepy guys are. Oh, man. I'm the girl of his dreams. You're damn right I am. Ooh. Hey, it's my friends. Oh, hello, Jules. I feel like that's an invitation to do it. <laughs> Wanted to see Cloud's dress. Uh, gotta do some chores. Hey, no problem. You got it. We got to see the scene. And uh, thank you. Thank you for hanging out with us, Sid. I don't know about that. Hey, don't judge, you piece of crap. Are you sure you're in the right place? Oh, he doesn't even recognize me. Fuck yeah. Hmm. That is around the world and back snap. I'll be on in the background? All right, cool. Yeah, because we're going to play for like another hour, probably. And I'll get back to work on my podcast. About halfway done with it. Your eyes do not fool you, dude. It's me. No way. Yes way. Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? Are you serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be <laughs> fine. If you say so. Come on. I hope when the chips are down, that guy actually turns out to be decent and helps us. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And you don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. Oh, I'm sorry, that's what I was about to do right now. I might knock that vase over too, because I don't like vases. I don't like vases because they make me call them vases. You can't afford a single thing in this place, so don't break shit. You can't afford a single thing in this place, so don't break shit. Oh my god, I can't wait to pull out my sword and break shit. I'll be back, numb nuts. That one's Madame Yen's girl, ain't it? Yeah, she's got We've been waiting for you to show. That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Go to your room and wait. Quiet. Oh, so that first room is not ours? You sure about that, Hansky? Hey, hands to yourself. All right, all right, fine. This guy don't like us much. It's okay, I don't like him either. Cloud's keeping it together, man. I like that they kept his hairstyle the same, and they just added like clip-on ponytails. <laughs> That's great. Huh? This dingy room? Oh, we've been tricked. What's that weird, sweet smell? We're being poisoned. Why do I feel so dizzy? Gas. <gasps> Come on. <laughs> Damn it! Oh crap! No way! Are we gonna get drugged? Yeah, I didn't expect this. That sucks. That's a scary real life thing. Oh, good. You guys brought us two masks. Where are you taking us? Come on, man. I'll see Daisy. 
Oh, they have. You want to throw down the Corneo curve? But if you leave a mark on them, you ain't getting off with a one. Oh. Uh -huh. Managed to wrangle some real lovers this time, though. <laughs> oh, Punch him, Cloud. Nope. That gas got us, man. Hey, can you hear me? Huh? Tifa? She is dressed like Chun-Li, yes. isn't she? You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Wait a minute. Cloud? Is that you? Seriously? Oh God, that makes Man, we really pulled this off, huh? Nailed it. I know. Thank you. Moving on. <laughs> Great response. You good? That dress. Yeah, yeah I know. It Nailed it. Moving on. <laughs> that's such a great line. That is it's such a great. That's so not a cloud line at all. Oh, but that's okay. such a great line. Oh right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Clouds. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks. Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no, not until I got what I came for. What? Hey, what are you doing here? So. After we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? I thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time. But then I realized I only be one of three candidates. And that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? <laughs> right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You, me, Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <laughs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. Whoa, what is that? Oh, we can buy. Look at that. Dawn of the slums. That's great. Phoenix Downs, Mega Potions. You know what? I am going to buy those three Mega Potions. We have... Uh, we have Tifa now in the group, so, uh... Aerith. Wow, it drops all of her stats? Are you kidding me? What's the advantage? Like, why did I even bother getting that thing? Let's see what it does. I want to upgrade it, though. Nah, she's fine. Aerith kicks a lot of butt. We've had a, we've had, she's been doing great. Um, all right, let's check this. What can I give her to upgrade her? Here we go. Titanium bangle. Well, Cloud has one of those, but we have an extra one. Nice. Championship belt. Hey, you know what? We'll give that to her since we took her wrist guards. We'll give her the belt. Nice. <laughs> All right, and then yeah, that's good. And we can. She has chakra, ice, lightning, elemental, fire.
could use a luck boost uh, HP up materia we'll give her that magic boost Keep leveling up her original weapon because I mean everything else we get is subpar I mean I get it's it's subpar because we already leveled her up but still it's like I don't feel like leveling up the other things um, physical damage reduction 10% when guarding magic damage reduction when guarding already unlocked that we unlock that yeah increased yeah cool Boom. Cool. And Tifa. She's got Sonic Strikers now. Ooh. A whole new world. So we got all of those unlocked. Oh, not all of these, though. Wind damage. Buff duration. Cool, cool, Oh, the gong. Listen up. I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. Yeah, this is a this the door to the left and up the stairs. This is a really Come creepy on, uh, setup. Hustle. I mean, they don't even pretend like like they right, just guys. instantly drug them and put them in a do dungeon. Do like they don't even they don't even try to be like, oh, here's a VIP room, and you know they, they do none of that. <laughs> They're just monsters. Looks like a level from Resident Evil. We're heading to the Spencer Mansion. All right, here we go. Okay, my beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dump. Why drug us and put us down in the bay? Like, what was the point? They could have just put us in another room. Like. <laughs> Kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Uh, whatever. Catch and scotch. Oh Y'all man. Go? Thank goodness he didn't recognize us. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Doc Corneo. Lady. <laughs> Wow, creepy. Very nice. <laughs> Look, he 
like he walks Everyone, in with his I fingers think? like uh so creepy oh gross you? <laughs> or maybe you Do it, man. Choose, choose Cloud. Oh yeah! I've got it! I've got it! Today's bright to be is... Today's? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Whoa. Hey, which one of you said that? Was We're it? here. Cut his head open. on you I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in today's lucky lady is the big bone girl <laughs> still playing hard to get I can dig it oh yeah leftovers are all yours yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay ladies wow what a scum Oh god. Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Is it normal? Sugar. Cloudette no got me pitching Nobody a tent. <laughs> what's up, Pickle? Uh yeah, what's wrong with that? You're even cuter than I thought. Back off. <laughs> this kitten got claws! I love it! <laughs> oh my goodness. What was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> My god. Hey, yo, fellas! We got guests! Hey, what are we waiting for? Like, why didn't we just fight? Like, why let them get away and put them in a room with a bunch of creepy dudes? Like, why didn't Cloud just fuck up the Don right in front of her like they could have been three against that room and oh, whatever stupid and she's got a huge sword that's right like I know these two can handle themselves but it's still it's like come on strength the numbers too I guess I'm good to go whenever how about you Tifa four guys between us okay let's not keep Cloud waiting right wait I know you. The Coliseum. What the Ooh. hell? Get down. Don't you stupid. Wait. God, that sounded so wrong. Four guys between us. It was nothing compared to you. Yeah. Sometimes these games get a little too Japanese for me, as far as like the tone and hor and uh, humor and stuff. I said horror, but I meant humor. Oh, look at this guy! This guy actually did do something decent. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Yeah, he doesn't like working for a scumbag, huh? But he was totally okay sitting idly by and watching a bunch of women get who knows what all these all this time. So. Okay. If you Let's think that redeems you completely, dude, it, I don't know if it does. And I don't know if we really needed your help, to be honest, but since you gave it anyway. Ooh, a Molotov cocktail. Well, we're going to throw that at the uh, Corneo dude for sure. I'm going to light his ass up. I'm going to break into Harvey Weinstein's room and light him on fire. Better hurry. Oh, I thought he was going to like say something. Of importance that outfit Tiffa had before was <clears throat> far less revealing than what she's wearing now. I know. Can we go into these rooms? I know this is the room we got knocked out in. 
Can you like examine it now? Kidding me? There's nothing in here? Oh, there is the secret entrance to the uh, basement, but we don't really need that. Hope this isn't the Don's room, because there are those guys downstairs to fight. What are you doing here? Ooh. So let's go downstairs first. Take out those men down there. I'm sitting here thinking we should stay up here and find secret stuff, but apparently the game doesn't want to give us any secret stuff. Or either that or it's downstairs. I see you managed to get out. Green! Uh, you want to have some fun with us? Guys are super easy. Oh, okay, all the way down here for the, that one thing we couldn't get through earlier. So Squall is which Final Fantasy game? Um, yeah, I know we should be fighting as Cloud in in his costume or his. his his uh, outfit, his dress, that'd be awesome. Um, Squall is in Final Fantasy VIII. He was the main character of VIII. And I like Squall. Although when you play him in the Kingdom Hearts games, he goes by the name Leon, which I don't remember exactly why they changed. I know his name is Squall Lionheart or Leonheart, something like that. So I know the name Leon comes from his last name, but yeah, they just refer to him as Leon. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I like Squall. He's a cool character. Oh, yeah, that's right. We already been down here. We've got all the secret stuff that we can get, I think. Let's go get Cla Claudette. <laughs> Don't stop. Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am. Like, what's Cloud yes, waiting I for? Like, Here I come, baby! He's, he's waiting for that, really? As soon as I was alone in the room with that guy, I would have ripped him apart. One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners, too. What the? Cloud, you're close! He was waiting to, for a change of clothes? Just rip the dress off and fight him with your legs and your <laughs> your muscles. Whatever. <clears throat> so you're a man. Hey, big boy. Uh, what are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Uh, don't know what you're talking about. No, don't change. Damn, there goes my tent. Let's try again. <laughs> oh, okay, I just know Zidane Why and Titus. From, yeah, uh, Zidane was nine, right? Avalanche. And Titus was ten, I think. Spill the beans, or I'll cut them off. All oh. right, all right. I'll talk. I'll talk. <sighs> Some guy with a gun for uh, an arm. I was paid to find him. Oh. I can't tell you. He's that. looking for Barrett. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. Whoa. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. 
It was Heidegger. All of that just to find out Heidegger is a bad guy? <laughs> like, all right, someone please explain that to me. This this whole segment feels like filler. If this was the whole point was to get one-on-one -on -one time with this guy, and then he tells us, hey, you know that bad guy that introduced himself in Chapter 6? Well, guess what? He's still the bad guy. All right, um... Never say no to a sexy girl. That just seems like such a like. Couldn't we have gotten anything else from him? Like we could have figured this out. Of course they want us. Now that is new information. Thank you, game. <laughs> so there you go. He's gonna destroy a pillar. Okay. Good. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. Nice. The setup, so when we were hanging out with Aerith, she said Sector 6, part of the top, fell. And now they're going to repeat it. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. It's not we a totally go. baffling segment. We got Cloud and Address. No, no, that that all I like, but I was just hoping they didn't just do that just to because the first game did it. Um, I was hoping it had a bigger point. Um, but now to see that we actually learned what the plan was, that's good. When they think they've already won, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a winner! You get an all expenses paid trip to the sewers. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs> yeah, I understand. Like the bar scene in Birds of Prey with the woman laughing. Um, oh, yeah, right. Well, there's a lot of scenes in that movie that were pointless scenes. There's a lot of scenes in uh, Suicide Squad that were pointless scenes. There's a lot of scenes in Batman vs. Superman that were pointless scenes. Um, so, yeah, like that. Schedule. <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President, I am asking you to reconsider. No begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000. <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the director's cowardice fills the room yet again. It's not cowardice to save lives. Like, are you kidding me? Progress requires sacrifice. Uh, yeah, but that made zero sense. Like, Learn have Zaz caught off the dress, making it far creepy? I mean, they did it just... The, the reason that scene exists is because it was like, we want to make Black Mask creepy and misogynist. Um, and that was the whole reason that scene existed. But... So I get why it's there, but it just, I didn't find it very effective. Uh, I mean, I found it, yes, it made him creepy, but it, it was like a very forced creepy. You know what would have been better? I said this in my review of the movie. If uh, if he would have made, if the man laughed and he made the man get up on the table and dance. And uh, not that that would made, that wouldn't have made the scene funny. I think that would have made it, that would have elevated it. It would have showed you that uh, maybe Black Mask is just off his rocker. Um, as opposed to like off his rocker in a misogynist way but yeah that scene could have been different if they would have had the guy get up on the table and have to take off his clothes and dance Aerith. Uh, that review is only on Patreon so you won't be able to find it I'm sorry to say Yeah. That bastard. Yeah, we're idiots too for just uh, standing on his trap door like that. It's okay, better than YouTube. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of my DC stuff I just I put on Patreon. Oh, what the f. 
gross. Whoa, dude. Wait, that's a summon, isn't it? Is it? Looks like a Ninja Turtle villain. Behemoth. Is that is that what it is? Is that is that a summon? What's his name? Abzu? Ooh, damn. Whoa, he's making stuff come out of the ground. Spin. Looks like a behemoth, but then again, I... Uh, I remember Pixel get, get out of that mode and seek. Can someone? go. Look at that. We got our we got our 40 stagger effect thing. Nice. We're gonna do an ascension on that right horn, motherfucker. Don't move. Damn it, you move. Oh, never mind. Should we summon? Monster versus monster. Yeah, the particle effects are amazing, aren't they? Get a me for it. Feeling 
<laughs> we defeated the right horn. Oh, we oh we beat him too. Okay, we crippled the right horn. Oh my god, I'd love to see Bahamut King of Dragons with these graphics. Yeah, so the good thing is I've stayed away from what all the summons look like online. So I haven't really messed with uh, any spoilers in that regard. But yeah, I'm assuming everything's here. Like, hopefully. Although I think in the original game, didn't you get like Knights of the Round and all that stuff later in the game? So some of the summons may not be in this game. They may save them for the, the, the next installments. It was probably Corneo's pet. When we were dinner. That's his pet? Why didn't he put that in the Colosseum to fight us? Hey, you don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Yeah, they would. Destroying part of the city? I mean, I don't... I think it's stupid to too, but... Us? Especially when he has your faces and he knows what you look like. I would make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But if he was telling the truth... Ifrit, yeah. Yeah, man, we summoned Ifrit. I have three summon, four summons. Um, I have no idea. I've never played seven. Waits for a gasp of audience to fade, so I would no, no problem. Um, yeah, there's a what you call it. Uh, we have Ifrit, we have Shiva, we have Fat Chocobo, and Chocobo with Moogle. Those are our four summons right now. I'm pretty sure we can use these tunnels to make our way back to Sector 7. The sewers under Sector 6 and 7 should be connected. If you get in trouble, just follow the stitch. Another one of those lessons? An avalanche thing, actually. We use them to move around the Undercity in emergencies. Hmm. Sure we're not lost? Positive. There should be a big waterway just up ahead. Let's find out. I'm coming. I was thinking of buying original Final Fantasy VII and VIII. It's on sale. Oh, worth it. Worth it. Go on. Fight the Ninja Turtles, bro. No surprises there. Um. Yeah, you should actually. Uh. They're fun. I, I, I own them both. Uh, 7 and 8. Uh, the original version. Well, 8's technically not the original version. I mean, it is, but it's it's slightly remastered. So they did touch it up. It's less pixelated. Um, but majority of everything else is the same in it. But I would say it's worth it. Yeah, they think they're like 8 bucks each or something. Or 10 bucks. Whatever it is, it's worth it. areas where cloud walks like tiptoes okay I was I was thinking we could handle water that went up to our waist um, but apparently clouds too much of a chicken shit for that nice I'll play seven eight and nine in a row you could really play them in any order they don't really um, like it's not they like they're, it's not like they link together or anything. Because um, it was funny. Cause someone was telling me like I was I had a friend of mine. He was asking, you know, legitimately because he didn't know. So it's not like I'm, I wasn't making fun of him or anything. But he was saying like, uh, why do they call it Final Fantasy if it's like how can you be Final Fantasy 15 basically? And I'm like, oh, because it's. You're, you're playing the Final Fantasy technically in each world. That's why they were against doing sequels at first. But then I think 10 changed that. Like They, they did 10 too, and that kind of changed the rules a bit. Um, but yeah, originally it was going to be just, you know... Just, it was just called, uh, you know, 7 or whatever.
And then, you know, in nine, eight, nine, and ten, they're all supposed to be like standalone stories. Yeah, I still need to go back and play ten. I never played ten two either. I was kind of one of those. I wouldn't. That's not true. I think I rented it and played a couple hours of it, but I never beat it. Um, but at first, I was stubborn against playing it because I was, I was like, nah, I'm going to be a purist. There should be no sequels to Final Fantasy games. Um, and then eventually, I caved and I rented it. I did finish 10, but I was drained from RPG games, so I went on to other game genres. That's kind of when I started to fall out of RPGs. I was big into RPGs for a while, um, and it was pretty much the time between the Super Nintendo Final Fantasy, which I think was called 3 here in the States, or I can't remember, and it was really 6. I can't. I honestly don't remember, but it was the one before 7. I got into RPGs around then, and... Um, Let's end this quick. You're good at this. Told you so. Yeah, so I got I got into them, you know, for a while. But then once ten came out, yeah, I kind of burnt out. I don't know. I burnt out on them. Uh, and ten was exhausting to some extent. I liked the characters, I liked the world, um, but what I didn't like was that the you didn't. You had to get all the way to the end of the game before the world map opened. And I remember just being pissed. By by the end, I was just like, I went in this linear, you know, direction this whole entire time. And now they're saying I can go and, <laughs> and you know, do more. And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not going to So yeah, as you can see, when I hit that stagger, I'm trying to get it up to 200%, but it, it was like at 160%, so we're getting close, but... Yeah, so that key... That's the same one in the uh, in that area in um, Slums 5 that we couldn't get into. So we're going to need to find, we're, at some point we're going to have to get that key and backtrack to these areas. I don't remember that from the game. I do remember easily beating the extra hard bosses. 33 million gil plus Yojimbo. Nice. I agree. I can't imagine any way they can profit from it. I also agree with that. Fortune to rebuild. I also he's agree with that. He's gotta be. Guys like him Yo, Jim will kill anything in one out. shot. It's like, I don't know if I ever got that summon. I know what it is, but I don't think I ever got it on any of my playthroughs. I remember the one time I went after Knights of the Round and I wouldn't quit until I got it. and uh, uh, That frustrated me so much. That's a power gym. He's somewhat of a pain to get and you have to uh, pay him every time you want to use wow. him. Jeez. It's an antique, older than the Mako reactors even. It'd be a miracle if it still works. Well, let's try it. Hey, did you look at that? 
that. Lights. Lights, light. camera action. I think the switch is on the other side. Oh, here's the switch right here. Nothing happened. Well then. <laughs> We got at least we got some water out. Let's go to the other side and see if uh, what we can do over here. Oh, what up? You're done. Just like that, okay? I got gotcha. you. Crabs, crabs everywhere. Yup. to the sewers <gasps> no uh, you know what it's probably you know we haven't we haven't tried the door that we're supposed to walk through I bet you I bet you that uh that key goes there I doubt it goes to that uh that one room that we passed but you know what just because I want to try it we'll try it but I'm pretty sure it goes to, to the to the door we haven't tried yet. <laughs> See? Sorry, I didn't mean to swipe at you, um, Tifa. Right. So yeah, this key is to the door we haven't tried yet. <laughs> Figures. Should have just come down here the first time. I was thinking we can open both of these things and connect them, and that I could just crawl through and go through both, but overthinking it. Peaches come in a can. They were put there by a man in a factory downtown. Boom. Yeah, it worked. Should have tried it first. Oh well. I got so excited when I saw that key. I was like, please. But it said sewer key. It didn't say like special door key. So, makes sense. Wait a minute. I know this place. Sector seven should be just on the other side of this waterway. Keep so this be careful bending over. And where sector seven begins. Once we cross over, we can start looking for a way back to the surface. That'd be harder than you think. Let's just try to make our way down this tunnel. Huh, just throw them across. To clear a path. We can do this. And then jump we'll across after them. Yeah, for sure. Okay, fine. We'll do it the stupid way. All right. Looks like there's another one of those gates here, too. Watch out for this guy. That's the way to do it. You get whatever that key is. It's probably from Corneo, because it looks like it's his palace design. So yeah, we're, we're going to need to beat his face in and take that key from him. Another unnecessary maze where we can just jump across. That's all right, game. I'll play your games, game.
So now the information we got from Corneo could be wrong. So now it makes me put in the question again, why we even had to go deal with his ass. Yay, crabs and board fish. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. Having really sleepy. Here goes. Yeah, he's hungry. 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 Yeah, Standard stagger bonus in Final Fantasy VII starts at 160. Starts at 160, so I haven't even upped it at all. But there are ways to increase this past the base amount. Around chapters eight or nine, you're likely to receive the battle intel. This intel reports ask you to increase 200%. While the initial stagger reports were more straightforward, you might be wondering how exactly to increase the bonus past 160. To get this report, you need to finish stagger effect part one and two, which we've done. Blah blah blah. blah. Fighting the fat chocobo is a good way to increase the stagger bonus to 200 or more. You can fight him in Chavez VR starting around the same time. He's available to fight. There are three key ways to increase the stagger. Primary is use Tifa's unique abilities Rise and Fall, Omni Strike, and Whirlwind Uppercut. All three of these will increase the stagger damage bonus past 160%. So before tripping fat chocobo's stagger gauge, make sure to Use unbridled strength to power up her unique fighting abilities to the max. Unbridled strength on Tifa. Okay. So we need someone who you can punch at for a long time. That's why. Um, and Fat Chocobo, he was a good... He was a good... Uh, target um, but we need to equip what again for unbridled strength feathered gloves huh when did she get these Power that up then. I'm back, I got sidetracked. Hey, that's okay, man. Glad you're okay. what else we can do first attack power Assault. You know what up. Stagger. Recover HP when dealing damage with unique abilities to a staggered enemy. Uh, yeah. Cool. Maybe this uh, powering her up, we'll, we'll try to switch to her more often.
What does she have? She has lightning, ice, chakra, fire, magic up. Should give her a healing one or a cleansing one because, uh, yeah, we're just we're getting our butts kicked with stuff. She has an HP one, so. Yeah, we're fine. But unbridled strength, uh, make sure to use unbridled strength to power up her unique fighting abilities to the max. Okay. I'm going to try to switch to her in battle. Okay, then. It's on you. So it's my turn? Let me handle it. Finish him off. Oh, dang. She beat everybody already. You're good at this. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, we're gonna have, we'll, we'll uh, next time we go see Chadley, we'll uh, we'll go fight uh, Fat Chocobo. We'll uh, we'll get that. That's the last thing we need to get, and we'll. But that's the last, like, current Chadley thing to do. Oh, that's what... When this pandemic... Oh, I missed that whole comment. That's the downside about leaving big comments. And also, Moobot, fuck you. Uh, something whole chickens... Pick one up and say, hmm, Chernobyl Farms? Uh, yeah, I missed that whole joke. And walk away. <laughs> well, good luck on your mission. Uh, sorry, that wasn't your fault. You actually left a decent size, like a, a comment I could read. But uh, unfortunately, the Moobot thing jumped in. Fucking Moobot. Just C blocking me all day. When this pandemic ends, I am still going to a grocery store and in the frozen whole chickens section, uh, pick one up and say Chernobyl Farms. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Thanks for repeating it. Now I feel like one of the cool kids. Now I know what's being said. Oh, what's that? Don't you mean we've got this? Don't overdo it. Okay. Damn, Ninja Turtle, you got your butt kicked. Take a seat, Raphael. No problem, Chernobyl Farm, uh, why does this chicken have flippers? As long as there's no flipper babies, Don. Well, actually, there were a few flipper babies. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen uh, Kids in the Hall Brain Candy, but that is a great and very funny movie. She's from it's some trick. five There's where no way they'd go that far. the plate fell. But, but what if Corneo really was telling the truth? We have to get there in time to stop it. We have to. Right. Mm. Eric, what are you not telling me? Huh? Uh, Guys, come on. Sh what is Eric now? Coming. I'll go first. Mm. Enough talking, get into a cat fight already. <laughs> Whoops, wrong game. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Aerith, you got this. Almost. 
Almost there. That was close. Thanks. You saved me. How are we gonna backtrack now, bruh? Hear that cloud? Come on. I gotta say, there's not a lot of like weird looks from Tifa going like, who is this chick that you, you brought <laughs> with you? Like, uh, no jealousy looks or anything. Focus. Still thinking about the plate? Was the water acid or something? No. I mean, it was sewer water, so it would have been gross, I guess, but she would have been forever unclean. How about this, then? Think of something fun. After saving Sector 7, you're gonna... I'm gonna... Go shopping. Topside. I'll buy stuff for the bar. Decorations. Coasters. Can I come? You'd better. Then it's a date. <laughs> oh, great, Mike. <laughs> what was that about me? <laughs> My two, the two girls I like are friends now. Uh oh. I mean, they have no reason not to be. They're both awesome people. Oh, go, Cloud, go. Whoa. Okay, I was expecting something more dangerous about the bridge. No, they're really, I mean, other than just gross water. Not really. Sorry about that. No need to be. And I'm and I'm trying to figure out what the purpose of any of that was. Like the walking across like, yeah, it gives you an extra character moment or two, but, like, it's so insignificant. Like, um, it, there is some things in this that just feel like length filler. Um, and not even that much more length. Like, it's like, couldn't we have just gotten through that without any floors falling apart or anything? Like, why is he apologizing? He, yeah, he didn't cause the bridge. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It just feels like, a oh, we have a scene here. And we're not, we don't want to cut it, I guess, because we spent money on making it because we wanted it in for no reason. Is this just, uh, potions? Okay. Yeah, she's got the feather ones now. She's good. Yeah, there's, we've run into like maybe a dozen scenes like that so far where it just feels like filler. And even some of the um, side quests, like the one where we had to go meet the, the drunk clothing salesman at the bar, like there was like nine steps in that process. And it's kind of like, uh, do, do we really need all these steps, game? And I'll answer for you, uh, no. Did DC Movie Studios work on this game? <laughs> Bazinga. Oh, uh... That goes somewhere, and this goes somewhere? This looks like a dead end, so let's go here. Because there's a were-rat. Let's go. Got two gravity. Okay. Always check the map. That way you don't uh, miss. Because I figured, all right, going up a ladder, that's probably where we have to go. Don't you mean you got this? Let me handle it. Give it your all. 
Dang it, I got her up to 185. Uh, dang it. That was the first time I've seen the stagger go up in a while. I hope Chadley's waiting for us somewhere, somewhere close. Uh, do we just run in a circle? No, just reused assets, that's all. This is literally an exact copy of the area we just were. Yeah, the need for filler scenes in a game like Final Fantasy VII is puzzling for sure. Yeah, because there's already enough content, you know. You don't really need to add filler. Oh. Which way do we go? They both seem to go to similar areas. So I guess there's no wrong answers. Just like that, okay? I got gotcha. you. Right, we'll go this way. Fight these guys. I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. You'll see. I'm trying, but I can't. Sorry. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Nothing to it. Ooh. Orb of warding. We should go back up though and see. Yeah. This is the only downside for me when I check maps because I'm like, ooh. This could be this, or this could be... And I, I always guess wrong. So we should have... Oh, no, I didn't. There is a... There is a, an aqueduct in there. So let's go... Uh... Oh, that is the way to go. Okay, I guessed right. Sorry. So this is the way to go for extra area stuff. Because the thing about these games, too, is, like, because they're very Japanese in tone and stuff, and, like, they balance the tone unevenly a lot of times, uh, which is why I'm not a big fan of anime sometimes, is because it just gets a little too, uh, <laughs> I don't know, ridiculous um, with mixing tones. Um, so like, in the scene where they, in the scene where they were like messing with Corneo, you could have had this, a scene right after that, or, or even during that, where Tifa and, um, and Aerith bonded, instead of dragging that out and making it happen in the sewer, while trying to cross a bridge that fell apart, that had no stakes really, because it all happened in the cutscene, uh, and there was no monster chasing you that made the bridge fall apart, so it, it just kind of felt like... Yeah, it just feels like filler. You think Cloud is compensating for something with that big sword? I made that joke actually already. <laughs> but uh yeah, so yes, I do. I think he I think he is. Big time. And he keeps correcting people, they're like, You were a soldier? He's like, ex soldier. Now I just a guy with a small penis and a big sword. <laughs> so yes, Lord Pickles, I am on the same page with you. <laughs> A tuft of Phoenix down. Look, that must be the way out. I wonder. There 
must be some way we can lower the water level. And fight like a boss or something. Maybe if we get that um that monster again, if he shows up, that behemoth looking thing, maybe we can uh I can switch to Tifa and, and maybe do you know, figure out how to get up to two hundred percent. Should you? Water, right? Uh, yeah, that's what they just said, bro. Well, if, if Tip has seen this kind of thing before, why doesn't she use it? No luck. Must be busted. Pump a red light intended. indicates a blockage. Apparently, we can use the hand pump to clear the blockage. Sounds about right. I remember having to do this at the bar before. All right. I'll... Eric, you mind giving me a hand? Cloud, you stay put. Keep an eye out for more red lights. Wait, I'm not sure... Trust me, this is the best way to handle it. We'll be back soon. Okay, okay. Cause that's fucking so teamwork. Maybe this is a little different from the one at the bar. More industrial. Have Aerith open the valve. Tilt the left stick up to open the valve. The needle will start to swing from right to left. While the needle is moving, repeatedly hit X to expand the target. Uh, okay. Have Aerith close the valve as the indicator hand swings back to the right. Tilt down with the target range to close the valve. Plus, who knows how much translation was lost in dubbing it to English. I mean, I can't imagine... It's not like the old days. Like, uh, I can't imagine there is a lot of translation lost anymore. Uh, because a lot of the developers who work on this, a lot of them also speak English. Or have, you know, or, or there are people on this game that speak English. And so I feel like the lost in translation thing doesn't happen as often nowadays with this kind of stuff. Um, I think the reason it feels off to us is because it's silly. Like it, you know, like it comes across as really kind of goofy. Here goes. Ah, oh, damn. I was thinking it was gonna slowly. Yeah, I'm sorry. That was my bad. Yep. So I was thinking I had to like pull it and it would slow down and go into the red, but no, it stops right when you get to the red. Okay, I gotta figure out something else to do. Oh, damn! Okay, yeah, I gotta figure it out. Here we go. Damn it! I even made it wider for you. There we go. Nice. So if you mess up, it keeps the it keeps the width of it, which is nice. Um, well, it is Japanese. Wow, she really can pump that thing. <laughs> Damn, that went too fast. So see, it still stays pretty wide. Like it, it, it shrinks a little bit, but not a lot. So every time you mess up, it's trying to help you. Ah, so close. They must only do this for easy mode. Ooh, that was <laughs> so close. All right, I think that did it. Who's telling me we don't have to do that anymore? Okay. Let's head back. Cloud's probably getting worried. Okay. Just tell me there's gonna be no more blockages and we can 
Because that was not good on my elbow, even. <laughs> I kept pressing X on my elbow, in case you're wondering. I bet you when you play on normal, you might have to do that twice. I don't, or maybe not, I don't know. Or maybe it just doesn't help you with the, the pump, which I can see that happening. Oh, there's enemies all over the place. Dang it, I was hoping for one big enemy. Nicely done. We make a great team. Go team! Oh boy. Let's end this quick. Deal with that. Here goes. Let me handle this. Damn, Donatello just kicked my ass. I just get turned into a frog, bro? I sure did. Tifa was turned into a frog. Bro. That was awesome. I have a blockage needs clearing. Maybe they can help. Dude, you are you are on you are on one tonight, dude. <laughs> Fuck it, cause I'm on one. Sure is nice to go up first. We started at the bottom, now we're here. We started at the bottom, now the whole thing's fucking. Keep it together. I'm coming. Tagging out. I got it. Let's go. Damn it, I'm a frog again. Bubble breath. Are we both frogs? Oh shit, and Tifa's almost dead. is kicked down here in the sewers. I didn't know those things could turn us into Take damn that. frogs. I'll go on ahead and secure the exit. <laughs> Holy shit. Looks like they're hungry for more. We're not delicious. Not even a little bit. <laughs> Get going. No. Okay. <laughs> You too. But there's too many of them. Not for me. Show off. I got a big sword, remember? Small dick, big balls, Bad giant ball sword. Come on. None of them stab me in the ass? Warning, don't fall into the water because nothing will happen. You've been warned. <laughs> yeah. You'll just be forever unclean and Cloud will never kiss you, that's all. Ch 
Chapter 11, huh? Filing bankruptcy already. Dang, there's never a dull moment. I'm surprised his arms aren't massive with waving that sword around. That's my whole thing is like, I, you know, I was making that comment earlier about, or a couple episodes ago, about how he doesn't look like uh, someone who A, wields the sword and like a typical action hero. Um, but it makes sense. I mean, they're basing him off his original design. And usually like um, Japanese uh, characters like that are like, from a design standpoint, sometimes you'll get like a one punch man, but even he's kind of lean, but he is still kind of bulky. Um, or you got like Guts, who's like a big dude. Um, but a lot of times they are, They're, like the main characters are a little bit smaller. Just on patrol. Don't worry, we'll make it in time. Hmm. Optimism. They all got weird color eyes. Like Tifa's got red eyes, uh, Cloud's got uh, his. Mako eyes. Excuse me. Uh, in case you're wondering why I bought all those potions, I'm wondering that now too. I was going to buy just one, just to, because I'm OCD, I was going to put me at an even 40. Um, and then I was like, oh no, I'll buy a couple and I'll use them on the team. And then as soon as we got out of there, I was like, why did I buy those? There's a bench right next to us and the bench refills your heart, uh, health uh, you points lost. and magic points. This is the train graveyard, all right? A real treasure Whoa. trove of scrap. Sector 7 should be just past that large maintenance facility over there. I vote we stay in the light so we can see where we're going. Dark, dark everywhere. That it? Okay. So we did finish that, but we're still working on that, which we can get when we see Chadley again. But we're going to save here, and we're going to stop for the night, because it's uh, we're at the two-hour marker. And... Uh, I'm getting tired, and I gotta work on. I gotta edit some tonight. And you will use them eventually. I, I exactly. It's like the 16 rolls of TP you have. Listen here, motherfucker. First of all, I have eight. Okay, eight. I have two. Yeah, I have two. Uh, one that is new. <laughs> and uh, one that, you know, that's like, it's newly put on the roll. Um, and then one spare near the toilet. And then I have a six pack in the closet. So, uh, so no, not 16. Listen here, motherfucker. <laughs> How dare you? I'm not a fucking Karen. I'm not gonna, <laughs> what's a, what's the male Karen? Uh, we got to come up with them. I'm sure there is one already. I, Cause I'm sure there's male assholes out there that, or fucking things up, being shitty about it. Um, but uh, yeah, no, what I want to do is I want to edit these episodes, and my goal is, so tomorrow, I don't think I'm going to play any Final Fantasy. Uh, tomorrow, what I really want to do is sit and watch movies and read. I have a stack of Transformer comics here that I have to read and two Ghost Rider comics that I have to make YouTube episodes on. So this whole week, I'm not doing any Venom vlogs. Uh, I'm going to just do Transformers and Ghost Rider and try to catch up on those this week. And then I want to get this podcast edited and maybe so I can post it in the morning. And then I have one more podcast to record, which I was supposed to do this weekend and I didn't. Uh, so I'll probably do that Tuesday and post it Tuesday night. So that way I have all my Patreon stuff up for the month. Um, so yeah, ooh, that's going to be fun. Yeah, so I want to sit and read these comics because... I really want to make episodes about them and talk about them and catch up uh, because now that we're, you know, I, I'm starting to see some of these companies are starting to, they're going to re-release, they're going to start releasing comics slowly but surely over the next like uh, two, three months. So, um, so I want to catch up on these books so that way by the time the new ones come out, you know, I don't have to play catch up at that time. So if I can knock all these out this week and, and you know, record them all this week at least and then um, 
put them up this week and next week. That's my goal. Uh, so yeah, how many Transformers? I have issue 17, 18, and 19, so we'll probably make that one episode. I have Galaxies 2, 3, and 4. That'll be one episode. And then Galaxies 5 and 6. That'll be it's a separate episode, so that's three episodes. And then ep- issue one of Transformers vs. Terminator. So that's four Transformer episodes and two Ghost Rider episodes. Um, I think I can do this. And the cool thing is I don't have to record them in my room because it gets really hot in my room. So uh, I can record them at my workstation because that's where all my Transformer shit is, bruh. So yeah, it will be fun. Um, thank you for being here, all you guys. Uh, Lord Pickles, thank you. And uh, thanks for cracking me up and making me laugh. And uh, Stupid Unicycle, thank you. Glad you won the print on the Venom Blog giveaway. So, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get your information and I'll send it to, uh, to Mike over at Gray Matter. And I think he'll probably ship those prints out in May at some point, like early to mid-May. I don't know his, his schedule with it, but I know he's an awesome dude and he'll get it to you. So... Thank you for entering the contest. And Sid, thank you for the game so we can keep playing it. We're 18 and a half hours in. That's amazing. And we're only on chapter 11 and we just started chapter 11. So uh, that's great because there's 18 chapters in this game. And I think 28 side quests. So we've done 15 side quests. We have 13 side quests left. And we have uh, eight full chapters left. So yeah, doing all right, man. I love it. Um, and we'll see you guys next. So yeah, have a good night. And like I said, I probably won't stream tomorrow. But I'll be back on um, Tuesday, most likely. Tuesday or Wednesday. I'll come back and we'll stream, uh, you know, again. We'll probably stream in the morning and then stream at night again like we're doing now. So I'll see you guys then. Peace.